Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Have ever wondered why there is a mainstream media blackout over Maxwell Chikum but so self-powered technology? Wants to know why? Then buckle up because things is about to unfold quickly. Zimbabwe, a nation grappling with economic hardship and an energy crisis, found itself at a crossroads with the emergence of Maxwell Chikumbutso, a self-taught engineer. Believes that Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing, first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Wanagagwa said no one can take away that capability. As he said this earlier today when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chukumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft-powering vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. Chikumbutso presented a beacon of hope, a self-powered car, fueled not by conventional means but by harnessing radio frequencies. This invention, if true, held the potential to revolutionize not just Zimbabwe but the entire world. Could this be the answer to the global energy crisis? Could a nation burdened by economic sanctions innovate its way to energy independence? Chikumbutso's claims were bold, a car that could run without the need for petrol, diesel or even electricity as we know it. His technology, he claimed, tapped into the very airwaves around us, converting radio frequencies into usable energy. Demonstrations were held, videos were released, and the world witnessed a seemingly impossible feat, a car propelled by an unseen force. Skepticism ran high, as it always does with groundbreaking inventions, but there was also a palpable sense of hope, a belief that perhaps this time the impossible was within reach. For Zimbabwe, a nation plagued by rolling blackouts and an over-reliance on expensive and polluting energy sources, Chikumbutso's invention represented a potential lifeline. In the age of instant news and viral sensations, one would expect a groundbreaking invention like a self-powered car to garner significant media attention. Yet the reaction to Chikumbutso's invention was curiously muted. Mainstream media outlets, often quick to hype up the latest technological advancements, remained conspicuously silent. The very platforms that had propelled countless other innovations to global fame seemed to have hit a collective mute button when it came to Chikumbutso's invention. This silence was particularly deafening in the tech community. Tech vloggers, known for their insatiable appetite for new gadgets and disruptive technologies, seem to have collectively overlooked Chikumbutso's invention. This absence of engagement from a community that thrives on exploring the cutting edge of technology was both perplexing and concerning. Adding to the growing skepticism surrounding Chikumbutso's invention was the hurdle he faced in securing a patent. Patent applications, often seen as a validation of an invention's originality and feasibility, are not easily dismissed. Yet, Chikumbutso's applications for his self-powered technology were met with repeated rejections, citing violations of the laws of physics, particularly the concept of perpetual motion. This rejection sent shockwaves through the scientific community and beyond, raising questions about the very nature of innovation and the barriers faced by those who dare to challenge established scientific dogma. Critics argued that the very foundation of Chikumbutso's invention the ability to generate energy from radio frequencies contradicted the fundamental laws of thermodynamics. Perpetual motion, the idea of a machine that can operate indefinitely without an external energy source, has long been debunked as a scientific impossibility. Chikumbutso, however, maintained that his technology did not violate these laws, claiming that it tapped into a previously unknown energy source. The patent denial, rather than silencing Chikumbutso, amplified his voice, turning his invention into a battleground for a larger debate about innovation, scientific dogma, and the very nature of what's possible. But when I started digging, oh, I saw something much more bigger than a rejection of a pattern. In this video, we're going to see why chicken boots innovation was not given a pattern by the US Patent Office. We're going to see the possible impacts that this is going to create. Of course, it's going to have a very high impact. So, be my guest. I want you to watch this clip. It's a time that I explain on my Facebook page so that people could understand how the laws, the patent laws work. They are patents 
which are not uh, patentable but being patents because of some issues good example you can uh, invent something that will promote monopoly automatically it's not patentable you can invent something that is novel it's new but this thing can cause harm to people it's not patentable our technology was classified as a technology that violates some laws of physics because patents examiners are guided by the natural laws so they said you are violating the law of energy and thermodynamics this is not directly proportional so it's not industrial applicable <laughs> because it is reversing everything we have to revisit science and change those laws yes it is working but because yes. it's doing that <laughs> we have to relook everything yeah, relook re everything we have to dismantle everything then we start afresh so it's not patentable so they some of the classified as a perpetual motion device that is why we delayed to be out we're trying to find best ways of doing it of taking it to the market later on we decided that the best way is to have industrial designs just like coca-cola did they protected their recipe it's not patented but they just kept it secret so we we, 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 we decided to go that route and it took 70 percent of our components in the microsonic energy device we made those components uh, we put them under trade secrets meaning to say that we don't disclose much the formula on how those components are made the materials that we are using will remain classified mm -hmm. yeah so that was the challenge that we feel yeah it uh, affects a lot because uh, i will give a very good example that uh, this is something that uh, we have experienced for example you want to license a company a company come and say we see that this thing is working we want a, a, a manufacturing license or whatever mm -hmm. but when you don't have a patent they don't have guarantee they don't have guarantee that it, it, they will remain in control so it, it became a challenge to to license companies it became a challenge also to get like funding from uh, financial institutes a good example there's a time in south africa a certain bank was giving a uh, funding for new renewable energy our technology even though it was working demonstrated that it is what was working but here is where things get really concerning when we refuse to patent revolutionary technology some pretty serious things can happen first off and this is huge without patent protection inventors lose the right to exclusively protect and develop their technology think about this for a moment you create something very amazing and anyone can potentially copy it and reproduce it the moment it's out there but it gets even worse when inventors from developing countries can't get patent protection they won't be able to attract major investors why because investors want protection on their investments you kind of see where this is going no pattern means no major funding and here is the real troubling part this can lead to what experts call brain drain brilliant inventors and innovators might feel forced to leave their home countries taking their talents elsewhere and this has happened before chikumbutsu that you see in this video the same chikumbutsu we are talking about had once left that was brain drain he had once left for the u.s and that's when he was poisoned with his teammates his teammate lost his life but he struggled he managed and survived and was called back to zimbabwe by his president so brain drain is a reality when we talk about brain drain some people think that you just want to say things it happens in my community i know so many people that have left with incredible talents to the uk to the u.s to germany many different places because they want to go and further their innovations now history is full of revolutionary ideas as chikumbutso's invention gained notoriety he found himself facing a barrage of personal attacks once hailed as a visionary he was now labeled a fraud a charlatan even an armed robber these accusations often lacking substantial evidence seem designed to discredit him and undermine the validity of his work 
The ferocity of these attacks raised red flags, prompting many to question if there was more to this smear campaign than met the eye. Was this a desperate attempt to silence a potential disruptor to powerful industries? Or were these accusations rooted in genuine concerns about the legitimacy of Chikumbutso's claims? Chikumbutso's experience was not an isolated incident in the annals of groundbreaking inventions. History is replete with examples of visionary inventors facing similar pushback, often accompanied by smear campaigns aimed at discrediting their work. The attacks on Chikumbutso took a sinister turn when he claimed to have been a target of poisoning attempts. While the details of this incident remain shrouded in mystery, it underscored the lengths to which some were willing to go to silence Chikumbutso and his potentially disruptive technology. Just as the initial wave of attacks seemed to be losing momentum, a new narrative began to emerge, one that aimed to minimize Chikumbutso's achievements and relegate his invention to the realm of old news. This narrative shift, subtle yet effective, sought to portray self-powered technology as something that had always existed, thereby stripping Chikumbutso of any claim to originality or groundbreaking innovation. This tactic, often employed to control the historical narrative, aimed to diminish the impact of Chikumbutso's work and maintain the status quo. Claims surfaced that similar technologies had been developed in the past, often citing obscure or unsubstantiated examples. By burying his invention under a mountain of alleged precedents, those seeking to maintain control over the energy sector sought to render Chikumbutso's work irrelevant. This manipulation of the narrative extended beyond the technological realm, seeping into the public consciousness through subtle yet pervasive means. Chikumbutso's image, once associated with innovation and hope, was gradually replaced with one of skepticism and doubt. The media, often complicit in shaping public perception, played a key role in this narrative shift. The suppression and discrediting of Chikumbutso's work bear striking similarities to the experiences of Nikola Tesla, a visionary inventor whose contributions to science and technology were met with both acclaim and fierce resistance. Tesla, best known for his work on alternating current or AC electricity, dared to challenge the status quo, often clashing with powerful figures who felt threatened by his innovations. The parallels between Tesla's experiences and those of Chikumbutso raise some uncomfortable questions about the forces that shape technological progress and the lengths to which they will go to maintain control. Tesla's battles with Thomas Edison over the adoption of AC versus DC electricity are legendary. Edison, heavily invested in his DC system, resorted to a smear campaign, portraying AC as dangerous and even deadly. Despite these obstacles, Tesla's AC system ultimately prevailed, becoming the standard for power generation and distribution worldwide. The similarities between Tesla's and Chikumbutso's experiences highlight a recurring pattern in the history of technological innovation. The suppression of ideas that threaten existing power structures. Both inventors challenged the established order, proposing technologies that promised to revolutionize their respective fields. The suppression of Chikumbutso's invention takes on a particularly poignant dimension when viewed against the backdrop of Zimbabwe's ongoing energy crisis. The nation, grappling with frequent power outages and an over-reliance on expensive and polluting energy sources, is in dire need of innovative solutions. Chikumbutso's self-powered technology, if proven viable, could have provided a much-needed lifeline, offering a path towards energy independence and economic growth. However, the alleged suppression of his work has deprived Zimbabwe of a potential solution to its energy woes, highlighting the high cost of controlling technological progress. Zimbabwe's energy crisis is not merely a technical issue. It is a symptom of deeper societal and economic challenges. The country's reliance on outdated infrastructure, coupled with limited investment in renewable energy sources, has created a situation where access to electricity is a daily struggle for many. This energy poverty has a ripple effect, hindering economic growth, limiting educational opportunities and perpetuating cycles of poverty. Chikumbutso's invention, with its promise of clean and readily available energy, represented a beacon of hope for a nation desperate for solutions. 
The controversy surrounding Chikumbutso's self-powered car underscores the critical need for transparency and rigorous scientific validation in assessing groundbreaking claims. While skepticism is healthy and necessary when evaluating potentially disruptive technologies, it must be balanced with a willingness to engage in open and honest scientific inquiry. Suppressing information or resorting to ad hominem attacks, as has allegedly been the case with Chikumbutso, only serves to muddy the waters, hindering the pursuit of truth and potentially stifling genuine innovation. The scientific method, with its emphasis on empirical evidence, peer review and reproducibility, remains our most reliable tool for separating fact from fiction. Chikumbutso's claims, extraordinary as they may seem, should be subjected to the same rigorous scrutiny as any other scientific claim. This requires a willingness from both Chikumbutso and the scientific community to engage in a transparent and open dialogue. Chikumbutso must be willing to share his work, allowing for independent verification of his claims and providing detailed explanations of his technology. The scientific community, on the other hand, must approach Chikumbutso's work with an open mind, setting aside any preconceived notions or biases. The story of Maxwell Chikumbutso and his self-powered car transcends the realm of technological innovation. It is a stark reminder of the importance of protecting the right to innovate, to challenge the status quo, and to dream of a better future. We live in a world where powerful forces often seek to maintain control, stifling progress and suppressing ideas that threaten their dominance. In such a climate, it is our collective responsibility to defend the right of individuals like Chikumbutso to explore new frontiers, to push the boundaries of what's possible and to share their discoveries with the world. This defense requires more than just passive acceptance. It demands active engagement. We must be vigilant in identifying and challenging attempts to suppress information, discredit innovators, or manipulate narratives. We must demand transparency from those in positions of power, holding them accountable for their actions, and ensuring that decisions about technological advancements are made in the best interests of humanity, not for the benefit of a select few. The suppression of innovation is not a victimless crime. By protecting and nurturing these qualities, we not only honor the legacy of visionaries like Chikumbutso and Tesla, but also pave the way for a brighter and more equitable future for all. So there you have it, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. As always, I am Dr. Cool. Stay cool, positive, optimistic, energetic, fantastic, and more importantly, healthy as horse alive. Now, if you would excuse me, I have a flight to catch and self-powered car to drive.